Sarah Taylor. Not quite yet, not quite yet. Oh, oh, oh. Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Felix. I'm a mixed media artist in Austin. And uh, I make PRs. I also make them hats every holiday and make them do little um, shows and photos, I guess, of them wearing these hats. And so when the, when the pandemic happened and I found TR Tuesday, I thought it was an interesting way for me to explore different mediums that I've worked in and create um, different types of tiaras. So I have made tiaras from pieces of pendants. I've made them from paper. I've made them from polymer clay. I've made them from a lot of different things. And I just wanna show you a couple of them so you get an idea that you can kind of make a tiara out of everything. And it's been a really great way for me to explore all these different ways to, to do things. So once a week, of course, they come out on Tuesday. I share them on the Constellation Facebook as well as my own and Instagram and all of the places. So. Just to show you a couple, this one right here um, is a piece I did, which is kind of a fairy tiara. And I, these are pendant pieces right here. So this is a round pendant, um, an ivy pendant, and then another pendant that comes back. These are all glued together right here. So these are glued on and then also wired on as well so that they have an extra strength on them. And and then of course, these are all crystals. These are kind of um, opals on there as well. So you, you are finding, I'm, there's a lot of found pieces that I use for my tiaras in general. Um, another one is of course the one I'm wearing. This one's actually out of paper. Um, the, the big spikes are paper. And then there's wire that goes over the front. Um, and then there's also uh, Swarovski crystals that are glued onto the wires that go up and down. I can take it off. I probably won't be able to put it back on, <laughs> but I can show you because it's a kind of a cool tiara. Mm. So my camera angle right here. So this is a round piece and then another round piece and a pendant that goes up. The crystals are then glued onto the pendant itself. And then the, his, the, hidden, the hidden story behind this uh, tiara is that this is a cereal box, obviously. Um, and the cereal box is glued to this, this strip right here. And then it's glued on to the wired pieces on the back. So the wires that go up and down actually give a nice place for the, the paper to be glued on. So like I said, you can make a tiara out of pretty much anything. Um, I also started creating one of the, these, which are tiara blanks. So last week, this is the tiara that I created for the blanks themselves. And um, it is just a piece of aluminum that's been fold, uh, bent to match the actual form of the tiara. And then it is, um, this one, <laughs> I dremeled it so that you get this kind of interesting um, texture on the piece. And then I used alcohol ink, which is of course one of my favorite mediums to create um, the actual tiara. And then these are all of course glued on. I, I tried to make the blank so that you could have these spaces to put the crystals. Um, and then I actually, this one I cut out the centerpiece right here so that there was room for this big ginormous Swarovski <laughs> right in the center. Um, so this is kind of, this one was pretty simple design, but you could pretty much paint it any color. This kind of reminds me of the Princess and the Frog uh, piece. So, yeah. And on, uh, there's, uh, I wish I would have brought it out. There's another one that's actually tentacles. So with, with these paper one, I'm probably gonna put a, a template up with the tentacle piece. I will grab it real quick. 
Another example of a paper um, piece. So these are all tentacles that are made out of paper and I have a, a cricket or just a regular paper um, um, sample that you could use to make your own tentacles as well. And these are also glued on. So it's wire as well on the front. So these are all just taken on. So yeah, the Elvin, I'm sorry, I'm gonna read the um, questions also, or the comments in the, in the Discord. But yeah, the Elvin crown is definitely a popular look. So this one I found, this one we're gonna to do today. I found these um, pieces on Amazon. I was trying to find things that would be easier to find for people. So these are these um, kind of peacock pieces and they're really lightweight. I tend to like my tiaras very lightweight. Um, these are of course chandelier crystals. And then this is another pendant that I um, got on Etsy. So this, these are all wired, I'll explain this first. First I made um, the front focal piece and these are glued together um, and this is glued on the front. And then once that was done, I actually wired it onto the base, which is just a metal piece right here. And then I wired on these, these side pieces and then wired these on the front. So kind of different layers of pieces. So let's, let's kind of start off. So like I said, I'm going to use hot glue because it's just easier and faster, but I um, either typically use like a, a quick cure uh, epoxy or two quick part epoxy, which is just great because it's a five minute cure. So it's really quick um, compared to like the longer um, epoxies and this can be bought on Amazon or for an even longer cure, you can use like an E6000, which um, a lot of crafters have. But like I said, I'm just going to demo it with um, the hot glue. <laughs> So these are the, the focal pieces. And what I did was I just laid them so that I got a nice design. Actually, this one would be in front if you want the focal piece in front. And with my glue, I'm gonna attach them in the four places. Oh, let's do this wrong. Let's put it right here, right here, right here. Right here. And attach it like that. Make sure I don't stick it to the table because I have a tendency to do that. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics. I would attach the crystals at the end of the project because um, when you're wiring on, you tend to be a little rough. So it's a little easier to do it later, but they are all attached. Um, with the glue on the, on the sides. And also you can just decide how you want to create the look as well. So, so then this piece would go right in front. And because I use this um, to wire or to cover with a crystal, I'm not too worried about it being all the way at the bottom. You could actually move it up and just stick that crystal right here or you can move it down have it closer to the bottom, but you want to keep some space for wiring this on to the back or to the to the frame. So I'm just going to add a little glue here. And once again, try not to go to the table. Okay. I'm going to move it up a little bit so it's easier to see. So there you go. Pretty basic. I'm going to turn it that. There you go. <laughs> New camera setup. Okay. So just to reinforce this for with the hot glue because it's not as strong, I'm gonna put a little glue right along here. Just give some reinforcement. Okay, let that dry. Now these guys, um, so these are like I said, chandelier crystals, and they have them in every color. They also have them taller. Um, there, there's 50 million types of these you can buy. Um, but I just typically take off this little silver piece. I keep these green beads for another project because that's what you do. And so these, of course, with the holes, you can wire these on pretty easily. So 
I've got those set up. And then these side pieces right here, I am going to take these, and I wanted them shorter because of course a tiara at the front of the tiara is taller than usually on the sides of the tiara. So I folded these and from this point down so that you get this second shape in the center, but it also makes it really easy to just stick it on to this piece and then wire it in these corners. And then you also have this place in the center if you want to add things. And I, oops, I actually added another piece of um, metal in here so that you have another place to put a crystal. I didn't actually have any more of those, so I'm just gonna use this, but you could, Put a crystal there. You could use one of these crystals and stick it in the middle. If I get it stuck, you could um, just add another bead or something to the center of this piece. Um, there's lots of different ways to create that um, look, but there are these are these pieces. So, all right. And I use this is like a 24 gauge craft wire that I have in my stash. I try and match it to the base so that you um, don't see it as much, but I mean, I have gold and silver and all sorts of colors. So, I'm going to pull out a piece of wire. Oh, there is a piece in here. Okay. So what I would do, and this is wider than the last one I did, so I'm going to slightly bend this so that it stays on there well. Um, but what I do is I start with the wire, put this down for a second, and I wrap it around about three times. So, so that I've got a starting place on the piece. And then I'm going to start wrapping. So I'm just, this is the great thing about these pieces is they have these holes. So you can just go through and wrap. On a fiddly, I know. <laughs> Let me get this. And if you have any questions, don't feel free to ask. I am paying attention to the chat. Um, and then you wrap it. I wrap it about two or three times per piece. If you want it a little stronger, you can add glue as well. And then it also keeps the piece kind of more steady when you're doing this. Um, but it's it's just an option. When I'm selling these, which I do sometimes, um, I typically will glue it as well. That will give an extra um, heaviness to the piece. So, um, okay, I know this is exciting. This is why I wrap it. And then just hold that down in the next section. It doesn't have to go through all. As long as you feel like it's pretty secure, you can do this. And I've also, what I've learned too is that you can pretty much do any theme. Um, I know. Somebody was talking about the uh, elven theme. I did a Doctor Who um, tiara with some um, Gallifreyan on the front of it. I've done a taco tiara. The taco tiara was um, very different. <laughs> I've done, um, like I said, the, t the, the uh, tentacle tiara as well. Um, I have made uh, the peacock. I have done, oh, I did a tiki tiara as well. That one was fun to do. So we get a lot of different ideas. And I, I like regular tiaras, but um, when I say regular, I like tiaras that you can buy, but I also just like these themed examples as well. They're a lot of fun to make. So, so there you go. <laughs> um, there's that, that tape down and you could stop here even. I mean, this is a cool looking tiara. Um, and yes, I will put the 
I will put the link for the tentacles in the, the chat so that you can you can take them and make them if you like, but, but it's definitely a fun one to do. Yes, Tiara Taco Tiara for ta Tiara Taco Tuesday. That was the idea because of course it's Tuesday. We need a taco as well. So this, I'm gonna actually just use a little hot glue so this stays in place while I'm trying to demo this. So I'm gonna just put a dot of glue. And I'm gonna put this here. So this is gonna stay in that spot. And I'm going to wrap the wire around a few times to where I'm going to then wire wrap this. And I wanna wire wrap it in the corners. Now, this tiara also has these on the front of it so that you can cover some of the wires. Um, but you could also just leave it there. It doesn't really matter. And you want to go through here like two or three times. <laughs> okay. The tacos, I, I guess I'd make a lot of things out of paper. The tacos were also made out of paper. I should make a template for the tacos because they were pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> to make. Um, all right, so I'm going to wrap on the ends of these wires. I tend to just wrap two or three times. And then, of course, you don't want a wire sticking into your head. So I, I have it actually go up at the end and then cut it off. That's, that's that attached. I can remove the hot glue because I don't need it anymore. And the nice thing about this is because it's wired on, I can move this forward or back. Um, as needed, so then it's a little closer to the centerpiece right there. And I actually, I actually wired it up the first time so that this was the center that was wired, but this time I actually wired on the sides. You could do it either way. It doesn't really matter. This is not going to hurt your head if it's touching you. At least it doesn't bother my head, this small piece of wire. Or you could just even push that up so that it covers and it gives another little focal point as well. And strengthens the piece so that it doesn't move as much in there. So there you go, little piece of wire in there. So then I'm going to take, I'm gonna get a bigger piece of wire again. Yes, I do like that typical CR. I that thing sitting on my desk too. Um, for sake of thickness, I'm gonna cut the piece. All right. Now again, once I start it, I'm gonna wrap it around two or three times. And copy this. And if somebody mentioned, um, oh, Ali mentioned the headband. Yeah, you could use an actual um, thicker headband as well. And somebody just sent me one that was um, fabric covered. And that makes it a little bit more simple to actually um, attach it because of course you can glue onto the fabric and it will hold nicely as well. So once again, I'm going to wrap into this hole here. I um, tend to buy a lot of my, my pieces on Etsy. There's a really great shop that I can list and I, I can also put up the, there's a link on my website of some of the places I buy my um, pieces. And so you can get um, a lot of great findings. And I tend to stick with like things that are pendant findings as well. Um, that way you've got the hole for wiring it on. So I just find the wiring definitely makes a piece stronger. Um, so that's, 
that's usually my goal is to try and make a little bit of strength on here. So there you go. Wire wrap. Oops. Three times. Go up. And then wrap it on the other side. And I glued this one better. I can't get it to move. There it goes. Um, I'm going to just move this up. So we get this extra piece in here. A little strength. So there you go. So there's the basics of the TR itself. Got everything. Here, let me turn it this way so you can see. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting that. So. And if you want to fold it a little bit more, there's a great thing about these pieces are is it is easy to fold them. Okay. So then more wiring work, but this is these pieces here. I'm going to just decide where I want them. And oops, on this one, I had them flanking this piece in the center. So there's just the two wired arm. I don't need to wire all of them on to show you, but I'm thinking something like, like, like this. So you've got an interesting spike that comes up. So I will start my wire. This is also kind of the same idea I use for crystals. So like these types of pieces, these also have the holes in them. So you can um, run through the hole and then wire around it. Okay. I'm going to go through this hole. I'm going to set it where I want it so that it doesn't move, which is right. I want to Put it on the black because it will definitely help keep it in place. And then I'm going to go through the back so it's attached to the, the base. And then I'm going to wrap around it so that it makes a crisscross shape on the front of it. This is going to go through the back one more time. And then it's going to come through on the other side. I'm going to push this wire so that it kind of crisscrosses over it. And then I'm going to really crisscross it. Now, one of the ways to tighten this as well when you're just crisscrossing over the front is you can, once you get your crisscross on there, I can get my crisscross. Let me do one more. I'm going to want to crisscross the other way as well. So you actually have the crisscross and not just a one line. Okay. So what you can do is you can take a pair of pliers and you can turn the wires so it will tighten them. And it also adds an extra little effect to it. You should probably use the different color wires so you can see this better. So good. That one's tight. Okay. And then I'm going to come through the back again and crisscross the other way. I can get my glasses to let me see. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to crisscross this way over the top and come through again to the back, the peacock piece, and crisscross again. So then I'm going to go through and just tighten it on here by looping it through a few more times. Okay, so now this is pretty set in there. And like I said, I'm just gonna go through and tighten these pieces so that it's even tighter. And you can kind of get an idea, Let's see if you can see it. The camera doesn't wanna show up that detail. But right there, the blue wires got cranked, kinked so that it stays on there. But it is, it's, it's, it's on there, it's not gonna move. So you would wanna do this on both sides. So there'd be one here, and then another one right here. And you get that shape. Of... You could you could put it. I mean, there's there's plenty of ways to do this. You could put it in between these. You could put it in front of here. 
you could put it kind of anywhere you wanted. You could put it one in the center. I did one where I sold it, but there was like these, I actually glued these together so that it made this fan kind of shape and then wired that on. So that was an interesting way to do it as well. But that's this is the basics of wiring the crystal. You just want to make a crisscross in the front, tighten them as, as much as possible. And then if it's not, if it's still not tight enough, you can just crimp the, crimp the wire so that it um, makes an interesting shape as well as tightens it on there. So, yeah, the crystal does have surely a lot more wire around it um, just to make it stay on there as well. So. That's that. And then what I really wanted to do for this one is follow these shapes to create the um, focals. So I use a lot of Swarovski, but you could use um, the crystals that you get at the craft store that are, you know, um, adhesive. I tend to use a little bit more adhesive because I think they'll fall off after a while. In fact, I've had a couple of them that um, are my own that have, I've had for years and the crystals tend to fall off after a bit of time because the adhesive is not that strong. But I would definitely put a drop here. And hopefully I don't burn myself with this. Um, I'm just <clears throat> going to add the crystal here. And then as the shape gets smaller on the sides, I used a smaller crystal to put oh, the I'm trying to <laughs> Let's see. I can do this. I'm a lot more exact with it. It's two part epoxy, but this also you have to really hurry with those five minute epoxies because um, they, <laughs> they dry really quickly. So I, uh, on the, this with a tiara that I made last week, I was having to push the crystals in place every second. And then once it was dry, I stopped, but it was like babysitting the crystals so that they actually stayed in place. So it was sliding everywhere until for a few minutes. Okay, so there you go. There you get your idea of the colors. And I'm just following the shape of the piece itself. Put those crystals on there. Five minute epoxy also <clears throat> glues things better. Oh yeah, yeah, fairy film. Um, that that's a I had one that I did. You could just use uh, here. I'll pull it out while we're sitting here. You could use a vellum or a. This stuff right here works really well. This. Um, at Easter time, they uh, they sell this stuff for like a dollar a roll um, for gift baskets and stuff like that. And so I've used this to put behind spaces that were very open. So this is what I would suggest. I mean, you can buy this anytime. It's just really the roll that you can get for making gift baskets look pretty. But like I said, Michaels will have these for like a dollar during Easter season. So I have them in purple and green and this kind of clearish color. But yeah, back to this tiara. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this goes, I'm going to put another one right here. The nice thing about crafting um, at home on these zooms is I can just pull out um, <laughs> supplies as I'm talking because then I can show people uh, or so that if I'm at a convention I always forget oh yeah I should have brought x y or z but I don't have that problem when I'm in my own crafting so okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to cover up that little um, place with where the pendant goes and put another crystal there. And did you know, like when you're demoing or doing something with hot glue, the easiest way to get rid of all those little stringers is just to <laughs> take your handy dandy torch and mine will work and just go over it and it'll all disappear like magic. So there you go. Bonus bonus trick right there. So anyway, so this is the kind of the way of what it looks like. I also on mine used these opals um, that I now blocked it. You could put them next to it on the sides. You could put them over the, the wire. But what I did on this one was used these pearls and then a bunch of these smaller crystals as well. So again, with the wire wrapping, as I do with everything, I would take it, wrap it around three times. So yes, there's a lot of wire that goes on these pieces. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know it's that that hot glue trick is is handy. It's a handy trick to have. Um, <laughs> actually. All right, so uh, these I'm gonna put put on just one. I you can do one or two or three, but you don't want to have a lot of them on at the same time because you're going to wrap them and they'll stay in place um, better. So depending on how much you want to do, but these are just gonna sit in the front. That's right. That's why I like my resin. <laughs> so I can use fire, any excuse to use fire in my projects. I have a blowtorch, but I figured that was a little overkill <laughs> on this project. So I will just keep that one away. So <laughs> what I did is I actually strung all the pearls first. And this, this is all the pearls strung in there. And then I went through with another piece of wire with these smaller crystals on top so that you could cover any spots that were um, obviously uh, too much wire was showing. So there's like these, they're not, it's almost like a wreath that goes around the, the pearls as well. And then that way I didn't have to use as many pearls because of course pearls are more expensive than say these little beads are. Um, and they just could be put on individually. And then the string of uh, beads just wrapped around and this would have like three or four at a time you could do it and wrap them around the pearls or you could go you know over the pearls and it gives a different effect as well so that is that method so yeah i'm just going to continue with my pearls um here i'm going to get it as close as i can to the pearl next to it but just not worrying about the space too much And I've also glued on the pearls, but they don't, like on the tentacle one, these are glued on. They don't stay as well, of course, um, because they're just stuck in the glue and then the wrapping is much stronger. Um, but, you know, it's, it, in a pinch, it works. This one um, is a tiara that is just mine. I'm not gonna sell it. But this one's also, um, if you don't have a headband, this wire is like a flat five millimeter wire that you can um, you can shape any way, which is nice because then you can actually make it to fit your head. I know some of these tiaras, and not everybody has the same head shape. So um, this is actually a really, this is what I usually use to make my own personal tiaras. It's just to use a five millimeter piece of wire. And then I can bend it or I can use this spot to actually attach my um, you know, bobby pins, which is really what I am using to do this. So, okay. I don't know if you guys want to see me string any more pearls on. It seems kind of boring, but <laughs> we could uh, do a couple more. I can also show off some more tiaras and give you some ideas um, for some of the other ones I've done. 
or I can also show you how to make a focal point just with other pieces. Okay. I kind of also like the flat side. These are, of course, are freshwater pearls. So there's a flat side. You want to make sure the flat side's down so they don't move as much. But you just want to tighten those on. So there you go. This is what it looks like in there. On there. Oh, so you're making, you're saying you're putting another wing shape over here. Is that? The nice thing also is these pieces are all like somebody is making something different. It's it's great because you can take this type of shape and make it ten different ways. You don't actually have to do it the way that uh, that I am laying it out. Or you could add more wing shapes, or you could have less wing shapes. It doesn't. There's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just really what appeals to your artistic sensibility, which is why I like these tiaras particularly. I um, I think it's interesting to be able to kind of change the idea of a tiara instead of just being a um, what you think of when you traditionally see one. So there you go. That's where the string of them goes. So I'm going to go all the way across and then I'm going to run the smaller beads through. I'm going to stop this right here. But let me show you one more tiara too that, well, I'm probably not the last one. Um, they all fall down. Okay. So if you really did want to take a tiara that you could buy somewhere, um, this is a tiara that I think I got on the Elemental which is one of the tiara places. But these are, these were all clear. And this was what I wore for the Hugos this year. Um, but I just actually painted them with a alcohol ink, which Ranger makes a bunch of different types of alcohol ink. This is moss, but I used a blue, a purple, um, a lighter blue. And I went over it a couple times I wiped off ink, I put it back on, I wiped it off so that you get this sparkle still coming through of the colors. But this, you know, if you want to have a tiara that's, but you're not really ready to make a full tiara, you could buy one. If you wanted like an elvish tiara, um, you could get something and paint them all green. Um, you could have those kinds of greens and mosses and things to give a different look to them. Um, you could also, just paint a few of them. Like you could have, I could have just painted the star itself, but it's kind of a neat idea. And there's some really basic tiaras out there on Amazon. I know one of the, the uh, sponsors um, sent me <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Um, the alcohol ink does, well, you, you don't have to, if you're just gonna wear it yourself, you don't have to, but you probably want to seal it. I, with my art, I would seal it with a crate Kmar, um, and then I would put a UV coating coating on the top of it. it. Just because the um, ink, if they're in the light a long time, they're not particularly light fast. So you want to put the UV coating on it so that it um, keeps it. But you can't spray. It. You can't spray a UV coating onto the to the alcohol, you actually have to put something on top of it first, or it will run and it will move. So the the, the KMAR actually keeps it in place, and then the um, UV protectant keeps it from um, fading off. So yeah, so that's that. Okay. All right, I'll do one row of these guys on this one. And how are we doing on time? We have to All right. Oops.
Yeah, we're good. All right, so I just, I mixed a couple of different colors. There's some gold and some iridescent. And because there's so much blue in this tiara, I added some blue ones, uh, white ones, just a mixture of colors so that you get that peacock effect as well. So there's three beads on here. I am going to put it over this, this uh, pearl. I'm going to go through. So they're going to all stay kind of around this pearl. And then I'm going to wrap through. And then I'm going to wrap through the piece behind it. And that way it will stay in place and have the pearl to stay in place as well as those beads. We've got three. And now I'm going to wrap through. Okay. Again. Put a few more beads on it. I have new glasses coming on Monday that are supposed to be for closer work, which would have been nice to have today, <laughs> but I didn't get them in time. So, all right. So then I just wrapped this one across the front and I'm going to go through again. So this is just the process. Lots of little tedious bead work. You could use seed beads, which would be even smaller, um, or you could use these kind of middle beads, but there are a lot of different types of beads in the beads in the um, craft store for doing this. Okay. If you don't like the placement of one of these little beads too, you could go through and wrap this around so that it kind of keeps it where you want it. So I just moved it a little bit and dropped a piece of wire and I'm going to go through. Oops. Okay. More. Yeah. When people are watching, it's when they don't want to cooperate. I also, um, just to talk through some of the tiaras I've made, I, I have a, a YouTube channel that just basically just say, well, this is how I did it. It's not a step by step like this. Um, but it'll say, you know, this was wired on and then this was glued on, and it'll show all the different back and front of it. So um, I think the the one that was really a fun one to do was okay, this one is um, a polymer clay tiara. So I had a blank. It's a um, different one than this. I don't see it around here, but it's this is the aluminum that's been covered with polymer clay. So you can see it. This is kind of a spiky, more um, a different. Thing. So this was covered in black clay, and then I went through and just created these lines through it, and then painted it with a, a brown and a gold, so it's very sparkly too. Um, this, <clears throat> and then embedded these crystals in the polymer clay as well. So the, um, after it was fired, it was then, I made sure the crystals stayed if I needed to glue them down. And then this um, moon shape was embedded in the polymer clay as well. You can see the polymer clay over the top of it. But the, the um, form was just wired on to the, the piece. 
completely and then the polymer clay was put on top. So this is another idea is just using polymer clay. There's somebody on Constellation who makes all these tiaras out of polymer clay and I thought it was a cool idea and I didn't want to steal it but I also kind of wanted to pay um, did they pay show her how you know different ways to do this kind of thing? So, yeah. Anyway, let me finish this. Okay. I guess I should show the taco tr too since I'm showing off top tiaras. I know it's still in there. <laughs> okay. Does anybody else have any more questions while I'm just wiring this on? There you go. And it's just they're just kind of all randomly put up there. There you go. And that just covers any details. You can still see a little wire, but it's not as noticeable. And then you also get this kind of base interest on the piece, so it's not all high. It's it's also kind of different levels of interest in there. Um, I tend to build in layers on my tiaras so that you have like a, a <coughs> excuse me um this is in the front so you get more interest yes i will i will definitely write down the instructions for coloring crystals and um that's not a problem so there so you get this interest on in there um so you have everything back and by behind so you get more layers of interest. Just like I said with this, this tiara, you have this piece in front, you have the wire going up and down, and then you have the paper behind it. So it it gives an added interest to the piece instead of just um, you know, one piece in this, the, the front. Let me, let me grab the taco tiara so I can show that too. And, Okay, so the taco tiara is right there. So this is this is the taco made out of paper. These are, of course, uh, pendant. These flames are um, wire that have been dipped in resin and then painted with alcohol ink. Um, of course, I wanted a little bit more height on there, so I just wired on. You see that is like a triangle it's wired on and then glued on the back and then to include the fiery taco <laughs> I, um, I added these red and orange crystals on the sides so that it, it kept the interest going all the way around but yeah this is uh this is the taco and actually it was <laughs> much bigger on the original one um and I I thought okay that's a little bit crazy so I kind of made a smaller one and I think my kids stole my my tacos but um yeah it's it's just paper and um it's glued into I don't know if I can show you it's it's glued in there into the piece and then that piece is actually just glued on to the wire work so the wire work does help to put something to hold on to and there you go, Taco Tiara for Taco Tuesday and Tiara Tuesday. All right, so do we have any questions? Because we have about, I think 10 minutes, is that right? Um, yeah, okay. Yes, so um, what else would I do to finish this Tiara? I would probably add, I, I had more crystals on this side. Um, so again, 
I'm just gonna put a little glue. I also tend to use crystals to hide um, pieces that I want to be like don't want to be seen. So like if I don't want these these lines going over, I will just put a crystal there, and it kind of hides the stuff behind it. So um, you can't see all of the pieces, but there's another way to do it as well. So you get that idea. Um, and of course, the green will be in the front. Yeah, you could also glue something onto there. You could add another piece behind there as well. So um, you could add another, if you wanted some height, you could add another piece in there as well. You get another kind of tall tiara. You could add um, a piece in there. You could add like somebody, I think this is what you were saying, is you put uh, a piece between the two so you get another tall um, interest and these like I said bend so if, if it doesn't seem to be fitting you can bend this a little bit so that it's round and then bend this piece as well and it's another round piece that fits in there so you get this whole other look of it but really when I'm laying out these pendants or these um, pieces the pendants um, being the vocals I am just taking pieces and laying them along on my board and I'm moving them around. I'm trying to decide how I want this to look. I'm putting these pieces out. That gives me an idea of what the look is going to be. Oh, it doesn't show up very well. Here, let's go over here. Um, like, for example, I have this piece here. I'm going to start laying out crystals where I want the look to be or even just adding color so I can kind of get an idea of how I'm going to put pieces on there. If I wanted to add these green crystals, I would just kind of lay it out where I want it. Maybe I want it here, so I'd have to cut out that center. But the, the idea is to really get an idea of what you want as the centerpiece or start with a theme um, and then work your way up from there. And you know, there's some really cool pieces and you don't have to stick with the color. This one has been painted gold um, and it would be a really neat thing to have that sunburst. Let me turn this around, sorry. Sunburst on there so that you get this, this different focal from the pieces on there. Or these crystals are great because you can add them around. I use them also in the tiara for the Tiki tiara, which this piece right here. So the flames for the Tiki um, are crystals that have been attached. This is another one of very many layers. So these are all polymer clay right here. And then there's these round pieces that come up. So there is wired on, it's glued on. These are polymer clay, obviously, and, but I stuck a piece of wire. So these are actually wired on as well through the hole in the polymer clay. So the tiki's are wired on, the leaves are wired on, these are glued in, and then these are just um, acrylic flowers that I got from a craft store at some point in my, um, in all of my craft board, as I like to call it. Um, and then of course, because it is, very tiki. I thought, again, the pearls would look really nice with that as well. So I love, I love this tiara. I think it's nice and heavy, but it's also a fun one because it is, again, like I've said before, something that it's not what you would consider a normal tiara. It's more of an interesting um, piece that you could wear, of course, for like Halloween or something. So there you go. All right, I'm going to start wrapping it up, but if anybody has any questions as well, I'm happy to answer them, or I can keep showing tiaras too as well, because <laughs> I think I think you get the basic idea for this. If you have any more questions on how I, I put this together, kind of went through all the, the basic steps, um, gluing on the crystals, wiring it on, wiring on the um, pearls and the findings. And uh, that's really how it kind of comes together. Let me show you.
my Doctor Who tiara. So this is the Doctor Who tiara. And this is another different example. So this one also is alcohol ink on the back of this. And then I had a friend write out tiara and Gallifreyan. So this is, says tiara on the front of the tiara. Um, and then I had this big pendant that I used to attach this piece to. And then these are all rings that are attached. And then these side rings are wired on. This is a good example of using um, what we were talking about before, this, this stuff. So these in here are that paper. And then I actually added a flake um, glitter to it so that it's even more sparkly. So it's, it's the paper, I put resin, like a UV resin on it. And then I added the glitter and then heat, um, put on the light, the UV light. And so that this is all one piece, it's all attached in one piece. And then of course the uh, Swarovski's on the back. These are just colored blue, because of course, you know, Doctor Who is very blue. Um, and then just all wired together. So gives you a bunch of different ways to do this. All right. One more one more round. I'm gonna ask one more time. Anybody have questions before we we finish up? Like I said, I will put um, my list of um, materials that I use for other tiaras. I will put the tentacle tiara link in the question, and I will also put the alcohol ink, um, the alcohol ink information on the uh, Discord for you to use. But I hope you enjoy it, and if you have any questions, um, I will. Um, be happy to answer anything. My email I will put there too. It's sillysarahsue at gmail.com. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it. So thank you for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys later. See you around the con.